Hey there, folks. It's your favorite air purification specialist, Michael Klepek, back again. Today, we're scrubbing the air clean, literally. We're diving into the world of nitric acid scrubbers. You know, the kind of scrubbers that keep your factory running smooth and the environment just a little less toxic. Whether you're making fertilizers, explosives, or cleaning semiconductors, you don't want nitric acid hanging around. So, let's talk about how we scrub that out of the air, why it's essential, and how you can pick the right one for your operation. Nitric acid, HNO3. The basics. Nitric acid, a colorless, highly corrosive liquid, can pose significant risks if released into the atmosphere. It forms from nitrogen oxides, NOx, during industrial processes like the Ostwald process, a common method for producing nitric acid by oxidizing ammonia. Here's a quick breakdown of the process, and you can see it in the picture below. Now that you know how it forms, let's talk about where this stuff shows up in the industrial world. Industries and processes with nitric acid air emissions. Wondering where you might encounter nitric acid fumes? Let me give you a quick tour of some key industries where this nasty stuff pops up. Fertilizer production. Nitric acid is a major player in nitrogen fertilizers, explosives, manufacturing. Yep, it's in dynamite. Handle with care. Metallurgy. It's used in metal etching and cleaning. Gotta keep those metals shiny. Polymer production. Certain plastics wouldn't exist without nitric acid. Dyes and pigments. Want bright colors? Nitric acid is involved. Semiconductors. In the semiconductor industry, it's used for surface cleaning and etching. Fuel combustion. Nitrogen oxides from fuel combustion eventually turn into nitric acid and contribute to acid rain. It's everywhere, folks. And to keep things safe and compliant, a nitric acid scrubber is your best friend. Principle of operation. So how does a nitric acid scrubber actually work? Think of it like a fancy air washer. Gas. Introduction. The contaminated gas stream enters the scrubber. Contact with scrubbing liquid. The gas flows through a liquid, usually water or an alkaline solution. Absorption. The acid fumes dissolve into the scrubbing liquid, neutralizing the nasty stuff. Separation. The clean gas is separated from the liquid and discharged. Release. The cleaned gas is released into the atmosphere or sent for further treatment. Voila. Design specifications for nitric acid scrubbers. When it comes to designing a scrubber, you've got to get the details right. Let's break it down. Packing material. If you're using a packed bed scrubber, make sure the packing can handle nitric acid. Materials like stainless steel, PP, polypropylene, or PTFE, Teflon, are great options. Gas velocity. You want a steady flow without overwhelming the system. Keep the velocity optimal for efficient contact between the gas and liquid. Liquid rate. Get that liquid to gas ratio right. Enough liquid is key for proper absorption. Nozzle design. If you're working with spray towers, the right nozzles ensure the liquid is evenly distributed, helping the gas get a nice acid washing treatment. Guidelines for selecting a nitric acid scrubber. So, how do you know which scrubber is the right one? Here are the must-know steps. Gas volume. How much gas are we dealing with? The larger the volume, the bigger the scrubber. Concentration of HNO3. You need to measure the acid concentration in your gas stream. High concentrations require tougher solutions. Desired efficiency. What removal efficiency do you need? This depends on your environmental targets. Material durability. Remember, nitric acid is corrosive. Stainless steel, like AYAZI 316, or FRP, fiberglass reinforced plastic, are solid material choices. Scrubber type, packed bed. Scrubber, ideal for high efficiency, offering plenty of gas liquid contact. Venturi scrubber, great for capturing fine acid mist. Scrubbing liquid options. So, what liquid should you use to scrub the acid fumes? Water. The classic option for absorbing nitric acid. Alkaline solutions, sodium hydroxide, NaOH, or calcium hydroxide, KOH2, can neutralize the acid, turning it into harmless nitrate salts. Easy peasy. Instrumentation and monitoring. You've got the scrubber, 
but how do you keep it running smoothly? Here's what you'll need. pH meters. Keep an eye on acidity levels in your scrubbing liquid. Flow meters. Monitor both gas and liquid flow rates. Temperature and pressure sensors. Stay ahead of potential overpressure or overheating situations. Maintenance and environmental considerations. Last but not least, let's talk maintenance. It's like brushing your teeth. Do it regularly, and you'll avoid costly problems down the line. Regular inspections. Check for signs of corrosion and make sure all components are in good shape. Wastewater management. The spent liquid will contain nitric acid or nitrate salts, so make sure it's treated properly. Optimize performance. Adjust the liquid to gas ratio and circulation rates to keep things running efficiently. And there you have it, folks. A deep dive into nitric acid scrubbers. They're essential for keeping the air clean and your workers safe. Whether you're making fertilizer, semiconductors, or explosives, carefully, I hope. A well-designed scrubber will keep you compliant and operational. Need help picking the right one? Call us at Torch Air. We've got the expertise and equipment to scrub the air cleaner than your conscience after hitting ignore on those TPS reports. Until next time, stay safe, stay clean, and keep those fumes where they belong, in the scrubber. See you later.